Mac Tomaki is testing this water sample for corrosion inhibitors. It's something he does regularly in his job at Caridan Chemicals. It's a fast and simple job, thanks to this unit called a quat box. With this method, we typically start to finish, get things done within five minutes. It wasn't always that way. Not long ago, Tomaki would have to work with one or two other people in a long process that involved using harsh chemicals. You click your way through the interface and within a minute or two, your analysis is done. The Quat Box is the brainchild of Ken Schmidt, president of Wilson Analytical. The idea for the Quat Box actually started off as a conversation in a bar at, at a conference. At that conference, Schmidt saw what other companies were using to test for things such as corrosion inhibitors. He knew he could do it better. It basically was just a case of, you know, put your money where your mouth is. And that was the start of the, of the whole project. The project saw him build several prototypes, but he couldn't purchase a light source strong enough to do the analytical work. He determined the light source had to be custom built, but they didn't have the resources to do it at Wilson Analytical. We do a lot of our own optical stuff, but none of us are detailed optical engineers. That's when Schmidt turned to ACAMP, the Alberta Centre for Advanced Micro Nanotechnology Products. It's a not-for-profit organization that helps companies build a business plan and manufacture their product. We have a team of engineers to review the product from simulation all the way through final assembly. ACAMP helped design and build the strong ultraviolet light needed for the Quat Box. This allowed us to have a very bright light to give us very good sensitivity and also to have a very stable light. Now equipped with the right technology, the Quat Box is starting to catch on. The big plus is samples can now be analyzed anywhere, even on the tailgate of a truck. That makes it attractive to Alberta's oil and gas industry. Ken Schmidt is starting to reach that market, and ACAMP is hoping he can go beyond our province. How do we get some of these smaller businesses to expand beyond what they're presently doing locally and go global? I think if you want to grow the economy here, the, it's really important to have some expertise in taking products to market, and that's our expertise. Mac Tomaki now develops corrosion resistance programs in his new role as technical services rep. It's a promotion he got thanks to the Quat Box freeing up his time. Life's absolutely a lot easier.